What's up everyone, Azario here and welcome to another ADS Play uploading schedule for the week of June 14th, 2015. This is the week of E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. As you see, I have a special uh, picture here I'm using for the ADS Play uploading schedule for this week in honor of E3. And there's a lot of great things going on with E3. It's actually starting right now. You know, I read somewhere that it was starting on the 16th. I guess that's when the quote-unquote official E3 uh, conference starts. And um, you know, and it lasts until the 18th. So that's going to be, let's see, Tuesday through Thursday. That's when E3 officially is. And I'm going to be doing a coverage of E3. Now I'm not going to cover everything, just the main expos, like uh, um, Microsoft, uh, uh, excuse me, um, Microsoft's conference, um. Uh, the Electronic Arts Conference, if they have one, uh, but the main ones I'm going to be covering are Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. So, if if there's anything else interesting in between, I'll make sure to make a note of it and do an announcement of it um, during my recap videos. So, you guys stay tuned this week for those uh, those videos of the of the coverage for E3s and the recaps for those uh, events. And with that being said, you know uh, this week is. Uh, a week this is the week getting Batman Arkham Knight it's drawing closer man it's getting closer and I am in a position right now where I absolutely want to play it but in order for me to get that I'm, I'm gonna have to finish up some games that I'm already working on because I want to get them out of the way before Arkham Knight because I want that that game to have my undivided attention um, so what I have is uh, this week, I'm going to be finishing up Bloodborne this week. I put in a lot of time last week in, in Bloodborne, and I put a good dent in it. And I'm, I believe I'm at least a good one-third or at least nearly halfway done with the game. And I think if I push hard enough, I could get through the game and finish it by the end of uh, this week. Because um, I want to, because I, as you guys know, I am subscribed to Gamefly, and you know I pay a, a monthly subscription for free video game well not free video game but for video game rentals um i don't know why the hell i said free but for video game rentals for the entire month and i can keep the games for as long as i i want to as long as i pay the monthly subscription so at this moment i'm at the point where i can rent out two games at the same time and i think later on i'm going to be able to do uh three but right now i think i'm good and forgive the background noise if you guys can hear it people just came home from church so you know, they aren't into video games like me, so they're downstairs having a good old time and this, that, and the third, and I'm trying to focus on this, so forgive the background noise if you do hear it, because um, I won't be able to tell until I hear it, like the playback, and, and uh, but nevertheless, um, this is a new week, and I think it is important to bring up some uh, some topics in regards to E3 before I get into anything else. Uh, like I did mention, um, Bloodborne, I am going to be finishing that up this week. Just want to get that out of the way. And I will be doing another MKX online session, as you guys know. Uh, I will be doing that. Uh, there's been some games that have already been announced uh, during that, well, that the information got, well, I guess you say leaked on the internet that it's official. Um, apparently, two new characters are going to be added to the Super Smash Brothers roster in Ryu and Roy. Roy from uh, I, I think Roy was in past Smash Brothers games if I'm not mistaken uh, if not I think he comes from Fire from Fire Emblem don't quote me on that because I don't know what game he comes from but I think it's Fire Emblem uh, but yeah Ryu from Street Fighter and Roy are officially going to be in Smash Brothers uh, um, Bethesda uh, the company that created um, Dishonored, if I'm not mistaken, they announced that they will be doing a Dishonored 2. They're working on a Dishonored uh, 2. I didn't see anything for a release date. I'm pretty sure that they're going to have um, a release date for what they have going on uh, with that game during the E3 conference. So I'm kind of excited I'm, I don't know if Sony's going to have any information on that uh, I don't know what system the game is coming for so that's another big thing so either so either Microsoft or Sony or maybe both are going to have that um, 
going to have some information about a release date for Dishonored 2. So in honor of that, uh, I will be doing a playthrough of the first Dishonored um, because I do have that game. I downloaded it a couple months back from my my um, PlayStation Plus subscription. And uh, it's, it's just been sitting on my PS3 for quite some time. So I think it's time that I... That if, if if it's any time to play it, now would be the time. Because if they're coming up with a Dishonored 2, obviously I want to make sure that I'm able to catch up to wherever the story is for that game. And when I do a review of it, I'll be able to give you my opinions about, you know, what changes did they make from the first game to this one. So that's uh, that's coming. Um, also, uh, I will be uploading the videos from the farewell stream for infinite crisis you know they announced june 2nd that they'll be closing the game down that, that, that they'll be shutting down the servers on by august uh, 14th so they never announced exactly what were the, what was the reasons but i believe it obviously was some money issues you guys can check out my reaction video to that announcement i did it the same day that it that it uh that um was announced that they will be shutting it down and I kind of give my theories and opinions as to what I feel they are closing the game down for. So you guys check that video out. You no. Know? So, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to be covering the E3 um, conference. Not the entire conference. Again, just the main ones like Nintendo uh, and a few of the gaming companies, Sony, Microsoft, and maybe... Um, Electronic Arts and IGN, maybe. Like I said, if there's anything noteworthy to mention, I'll do it during the recaps. But other than that, you know, I'm uh, I'm just going to be covering those main three. So, well, I know Nintendo, they don't do any E3 conferences. But, but they have their Nintendo Direct, so that kind of counts. But yeah, so that's all there is for that. Now, as far as the games coming out this week, it's nothing noteworthy coming out this, uh, this week. I think... Lego Jurassic World's coming out this week. Uh, this week? Or did that game come out last week? Let's check Gamefly. Alright, looking at Gamefly, the only games coming out this week is is uh, the Crime Wave edition of uh, Payday 2. So, um, that's to be noted. Uh, I'm not really interested in Payday. Payday is just... Uh, it seems like a fun game, you know, but I'm not interested. Like, I'm focused on other things right now. So, Payday is a game that if I was interested in it, it would have to be sitting on the back burner for a while. Uh, and we got Arkham Knight coming out later on this month, as well as uh, Blast Blue, Chrono, Phantasma, Extend. And that's pretty much it. So, that's it for all the new games coming out this week. Now, I mentioned already what I'm doing this week, uh, finishing Bloodborne this week, new MKX online sessions. Uh, I'll be starting Dishonored this week as well, um, uploading the Infinite Crisis farewell uh, session that I had. And uh, also, last week, I'm, I forgot to mention this, but I will be doing a, uh, a session of matches in Heroes of the Storm. Some of you may be familiar with the background let me x out of that the background here that i've been having up um blizzard has made a, a um, multi-online battle arena game similar to league of legends and uh you know there it is right there and i will be doing a session of matches in heroes of the storm uh just to give you guys a, a good perspective as to what it is i i was a part of the closed beta but the thing was the game was still very in it was still badly developed like it was choppy and at first i thought it was my laptop but it was actually the game because now i can play it and it's and it doesn't give me that trouble like it plays smoothly it's good you know and i'm interested in showing what how that game differs from a game like league of legends and it, it's quite interesting actually so you guys be prepared for that uh this friday it will be a Yu-Gi-Oh 101 viewers choice fan day now remember you guys are the viewers you guys decide what it is I play. It's anything you can conjure up, anything you can think of, any crazy, wacky idea that you can think of. You decide what I play. Leave a comment underneath the Viewer's Choice Fan Day announcement video for uh, 6-19-2015.
and you know I will be on Dueling Network um, with your suggestions and you guys determine how many decks I have to play on Viewer's Choice Fan Day that's to be noted as well I don't um, you know make any bills uh, myself you guys decide what it is that I make you know you give me the ideas for it whether you want me to play a build that you never seen me play before whether you have a like some crazy customized idea build that you want to see me try to make or you know you guys decide that it's completely up to you you're the viewer you decide it's your choice that's why I call it viewers choice fan day um, I have more card reviews coming up but instead I'm gonna be doing entire booster pack reviews just to catch up on what I need to uh, do um, let me see let me get right here so uh, where is it all right here uh, you guys can see I, I have the dragons collection the dragons of legends and um, two and dragons of legends part one the collectors of pack destiny version I think that's um, okay never mind this is uh, the Alright, so, so this is the booster pack for the OCG. For the TCG, they have Dragons of Dragon of Legend 2. So that's the difference between the two of them. One's for the OCG, one's for the TCG. I don't want to get that. I don't want people to uh, try to sue me. But, so yeah, um, there's a lot of cards from that. So that's good then. Cause that, that means I only have one uh, pack to cover. Alright, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing an entire booster pack review and we're going to go through all the cards in the booster pack that are new. If there's anything that isn't new, then I'm just going to obviously, you know, uh, skip over it because there's no need to re uh, do a review on something that is already known and the music is just getting louder and louder. I'm going to turn my mic down. You guys can probably still hear me and not hear them. I should have did this at first, but... I will be uh, doing a booster pack review of that. I finally finished all of the, of the card reviews for uh, Clash of Rebellion, so that's completely done. Actually, I think I have one last card I need to review, and I'm gonna do that obviously later on in the day. I just want to knock that out. But yeah, that game, that that booster pack is is pretty much finished, you know. And I'm moving on to the early look of Dimensions. Uh, in chaos the next booster pack coming after that so we're going to take an early look at what that is going to be um, that is going to be what new cars they're introducing through that booster pack what uh, archetypes are going to get some new support um, so I'm looking forward to that and uh, anything else um, no man that's pretty much it so again blood, the, the conclusion of Bloodborne this week uh, another uh, MK online uh, session with Reptile. Uh, I think Reptile is a unique case when it comes to Mortal Kombat because they didn't really give him much for his variations, just like a couple tricks here and there. But it's gonna be in wow. They even sneeze loud. Anyway, uh, Reptile. He has like only one uh, new special for each variation, so it's gonna be crazy using that. They didn't really give him anything unique, really, but we'll see how well I do with them online uh, Bloodborne Dishonored uh, I'll, I'll, I will be playing that uh, Heroes of the Storm well I, I will be starting Dishonored this week I don't think I'm going to be able to put a big dent in it but I'm going to be starting this week I will be doing a session of Heroes of the Storm uploading the farewell uh, session of matches in Infinite Crisis and um you know, viewers' choice fan day this Friday, and next Friday will be Skype fan day. But I'll make an announcement on this upcoming Sunday about that. And that's pretty much it, man. That's everything. Um, I don't think I left anything out. No, I did not. So I'll be doing E3 coverage. Uh, you know, as soon as the uh, streams are done, and I'm finna go to YouTube right now and look that up. Uh, and, and watch the, the E3 conferences that they have going on right now and again I will make noteworthy uh, anything that's noteworthy before the you know Sony, Microsoft and Nintendo conferences I will be sure to 
take notes of that and when I do my recaps to make a I'll, uh, and make a note to speak on it so <laughs> thank you guys for watching peace E3 weekend get hype and I will see you guys for gameplay this week until then peace